I actually think I might have a problem. But not many people know about it. Is this your advent calendar? <laughs> Here it comes. It's probably the worst thing about me. And this makes me sound so weird. I am nervous. I haven't seen anyone do this in the influencer world yet either. Good morning. <clears throat> oh, croaky, croaky. Hello, Kermit. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Well, it's actually Sunday when you're watching this. We all know the drill by now. I'm actually surprised at how I've managed to stick to these weekly vlogs. I'm not even going to lie, especially last week. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how I managed to vlog anything because slightly horrendous week with the dog but this week is a lot more positive so far it's monday morning and sunny does seem to be a lot better this morning i've gotten up got dressed got ready i haven't had my breakfast yet but i thought i would just let you guys know absolutely loving the radford family vlogs if you've never watched them the radford family sue radford is a wonder woman she's the mum she has 22 children that's almost as many children as you'd have in a classroom she's birthed an entire classroom of children I don't know how she's done it, but I find their vlogs so fascinating to watch. I'm so happy they've got a YouTube channel, you know, because we are obsessed with programs like that. Like, um, they had a program called 22 Kids and Counting, or 20 Kids and Counting, whatever it was at the time. But we loved that program. They're filming another series at the minute, and they also have a YouTube channel now. So I've just been binge watching all their vlogs this morning. One of their daughters, Millie, she's actually just had her own baby. I'm not sure how old she is. I think she's like... 17 or 18? I can't remember. Her little baby's called Ophelia. Isn't that such a beautiful name? It makes me excited to name my children pretty things one day. So yeah, I've just been watching the Radford family vlogs and this morning I actually have a very exciting delivery. I'm a bit nervous about it because I have a robot turning up at my house, which I know is as mad as it sounds. Basically, I got an email from the team over at Oral B and they said, can we send you one of our new toothbrushes? It's gonna arrive via robot, so make sure you have your camera ready. And I was like, yes, of course you can send me one of your toothbrushes and of course I can have a robot arrive at my door. So that's happening this morning. <laughs> I don't know whether it's gonna come down from the sky, whether it's gonna roll up to my door, whether it's gonna be a guy dressed as a robot. I honestly really don't know what to expect. And things like that put me on edge a little bit. I'm such a control freak. I wanna know every detail. I'm rolling with the wind today. Robot's arriving at my door. It's gonna bring me a toothbrush. I mean, nothing surprises me in 2020, let's be honest. Dinosaurs are coming back. Pigs are flying. Mm. All right, okay. I actually feel ashamed of how long it took me to try this. Pixie Beauty's Glow Tonic. I've seen so many people raving about it, but I never really knew what it was. It's kind of like, I would compare it to Glossier's Solution, which is a chemical exfoliator. This is an exfoliating toner. I just put a little bit of this on a cotton pad before I moisturize in the morning. And I feel like it's really making my skin glow. It's keeping my skin clear. You know, when you just feel like goodness is soaking into your skin, I'd really recommend it. I've been using it for quite a while now and it looks like I barely made a dent in it. You don't need much of it, but I'm definitely gonna repurchase this when I run out. I really like it. There's my skin recommendation of the morning. Guys, look what's just arrived. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh my goodness, an actual robot on my doorstep. Wow, look. Oh my gosh, this is the Oral B IO Series 9 in Rose Quartz. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Mr. Robot. Bye bye. Have a nice trip. <laughs> How good was that, guys? How cute was the little robot rolling up to my door? They see me rolling. Anyway, let's have a look at the toothbrush. I haven't opened it yet, but it looks so pretty. I feel so lucky to have this in my hands. But this is Oral-B's brand new toothbrush. Seven smart modes. Christ, it's smarter than me. Let's have a little look. Hello. <laughs> wow, she's sleek. She's effortlessly beautiful. Look at it. That is the most beautiful toothbrush I've ever seen in my life. That packaging looks so cool. And then underneath you've got all the practical bits. We have the toothbrush head. I'm guessing this is a travel case. The adapters obviously to charge it. Look at this. So this is the holder and then just sits on there. It's magnetic. How sleek. Does that look? Fun fact, a couple of years ago, my main Christmas present from my parents was actually a new Oral-B toothbrush. I'm very passionate about brushing my teeth. Who knew that could spark a passion within me? But it has. I wanna say a big thank you to the team at Oral-B for very kindly sending me their new toothbrush. I've never had such an exciting Monday morning. Big thank you to the robot as well. What a magical little robot you were. So we've now come out for a little walk. It's very windy. Apologies if you can't hear me very well, but we've been trying to find the most quiet places to take Sunny for a walk and we actually discovered that 
at the minute because no one can play golf some golf courses are open to the public just to walk through but not many people know about it which is very handy we've actually found a golf course where there is a public footpath right the way through it anyway it's just particularly quiet right now obviously we never let her off the lead or anything like that she never goes on the actual golf stuff i have no idea what it's called but there's literally no other dogs around she stays on the lead anyway she absolutely loves it and it is so beautiful okay that's not a very good shot of it there we go we've been coming here every morning just because it is such a nice walk for one but two obviously it's really quiet there's my mum up ahead there. She got sick of me waiting to vlog. It's so cold this morning. I cannot feel the ends of my fingers right now. But there's little lakes here. There's even a woods at the other end of the golf course which we walked around yesterday. I'm really feeling like I've got my life together this morning because my headband, which is from Amazon, in a pack of three, lovely, matches my socks. Look at my welly socks. They're actually really expensive. I don't really recommend Hunter Welly socks. Although I do, because they are really good quality and they are really warm. They're £35. I mean, for a pair of socks. But they are worth it. I do wear them on every single dog walk, so. I've gone all out with the lunch today. Have a nice sunny. You're so proud of me. I mean, I say that, it's still so easy. Today's lunch is absolutely massive. I've definitely misjudged the portion size. <laughs> I've got pesto pasta with garlic, red onion, cheddar cheese and grilled halloumi look at these baby hairs i never used to have baby hairs and now all of a sudden this and they also don't know which way they want to go i feel like it needs to go that way but i mean good morning everyone it is the 2nd of december we are officially in the month of christmas i'm very excited about it and today is actually the first day out of lockdown i mean where i live we're still in tier two which I'm not actually sure what that means, to be honest. I need to have a look at the tier two rules. Not that I'm gonna be pushing the boat out anyway. <laughs> you guys know me. This whole year, me and my family have been trying to keep quite safe and we're not the type of people that would like go to the pub for a drink and a meal just for the sake of it. Fair enough if you do wanna do that, that's just not really us. We are very sociable people, but I think it comes down to my dad having the operation back in January. If you're new around here, my dad had a triple heart bypass in January, which was a really big operation. They literally like pull your ribs open and change your heart. <laughs> Actual open heart surgery vibes. So yeah, we have been very, very careful because he's still on a lot of medication from that. So obviously his immune system is not like at its full potential, I don't think. So we have been very careful and we will continue to be. We're not like obsessive though. We still go out and about, obviously, always wearing masks and hand sanitizer my dad's business is still open because he owns a diy store so they were allowed to open throughout lockdown which in a way it wasn't ideal but it also was because it's been such a hard year for small businesses and talking of that i'm actually going to head out this morning with sunny and my mum we're going to go and take her for a walk and then i'm going to pop into town because there's a local small business that i want to get a few christmas presents from i'm trying to get as many christmas presents as i can from small businesses i have actually finished my christmas shopping 30th of November and I was done. Quite proud of that. I did all my Christmas shopping over the Black Friday weekend but there are a few little bits and bobs that I want to get for people from small businesses. A lot of them I bought during lockdown like online and stuff and they arrived but this one particular place I'm going to pop into the shop today and pick up those little bits and then I actually have a few different errands that I need to do today. I need to pick up another present from Smith's Toy Store for my friend's little boy. I need to go and collect that. I need to pop to Sainsbury's and get Christmas cards, um, gift bags, that kind of jazz. Sainsbury's is really good for cards. Little top tip. They have really, really nice birthday cards and stuff. So I'm going to pop there. They're like the kind of birthday cards that are a bit trendy. They're not all like old people <laughs> just little things like that now we're out of lockdown i'm gonna go and do all those little bits and bobs this morning and i'm far too excited about it to be honest i do feel like i've been very cooped up in the house and i'm excited just to get out and do the simple things all righty then morning walk is complete literally have to wrap up so warm for the walks these days i actually don't mind it i find it really refreshing going out for a walk when it's really cold as long as you've got your gloves and your scarf and your hat and your layers i'm not the kind of person to be cold but as long as I'm wrapped up, I do really enjoy it. I feel like it's getting fresh air in my lungs. Anyway, walk is done and I'm now going to go and do all my little errands. I'm far too excited to go to Sainsbury's. But first of all, I'm going to go and drop off some of my charity donation stuff. I have a whole big box to donate to the women's shelter. And the women's shelter actually emailed me the other day to say that there was one particular woman and her teenage daughter who got a lot of the products that I donated last time. And they said they were so useful, really handy. It's not just like makeup and stuff. I get a lot of 
shower gels deodorants so like hygiene stuff as well as beauty which is really useful to them but it was really nice to get like that direct feedback from them so i'm gonna go and drop off another box of stuff i would love to work with this charity a bit more maybe in the next few years or when i'm a little bit older i'd love to volunteer there at the minute i feel like it would be a little bit heavy stuff anyway mum's back are you ready for sainsbury's Ready for Sainsbury's? Shall I look at the Christmas mugs while I go in there? <sighs> Can I stop you? No. <laughs> so this is the meal I've cooked tonight. I don't think this one looks the nicest that I've done so far, but actually no, it does look nice, I think. But this one is spinach and chickpea Moroccan style stew with couscous and a little bit of parsley and feta on top. It's got dried apricots in it as well, so I think it's going to be a bit sweet, but the sauce in it does smell really spicy. Hopefully it'll be nice. It's vegetarian as well. We don't often have vegetarian dishes actually, so I am looking forward to this. Sunny, do you know what time it is? What's this? Is this your advent calendar? <gasps> is it so yummy? Should we have one? Right, we've got to find number three. Where's number three? You don't know, you're just a dog. Here it is. You love this. <laughs> she doesn't understand the concept of an advent calendar though. She keeps coming into my office and barking at it. But you can only have one every day. You can't have them all today. I don't know what this is, it feels like chocolate, but it's obviously not. It's chicken flavoured treats. Oh, yummy. Can I have another one? Where's the next one? <laughs> I've got a right mismatchy lunch today. So carrots and hummus with a little bit of brown toast. And then these two things, this is super random, but these are barbecue pulled pork rolls and these are coronation chicken balls. I don't really know what they're called. Today's mission is to sort out all of this, do my returns, possibly film some PO box for my Instagram. And this is some Christmas presents that I have left to wrap up. I want to get all of this out of my office today because I cannot be dealing with this mess any longer. I'm going to absolutely lose it, my friends. I've got to tie my hair up. I'm absolutely boiling. I'm going to start with a little bit of Christmas wrapping. So for my friend's little boy, I've got some books. I picked these up the other day. And I also got him some special wrapping paper today. So I'm going to wrap these. I want to wrap, I've got quite a lot of presents for my mum in here in carrier bags and my dad actually. I just want to get this whole corner sorted out. And I've got so many returns to do. I am so bad for missing the return period. You know, when you get 14 days from something you've ordered online, the amount of times I've missed that because I just put it off and off and the days seem to go so quick and then I get so annoyed at myself because I lose a load of money on stuff that I don't need. It's probably the worst thing about me. Jingle bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling morning to you it's now actually friday where has this week gone honestly feels like it's gone so quick excuse the statement i'm actually halfway through filming a tiktok for ghd so my hair is half done i filmed a couple of shots of me curling my hair and stuff but i was getting so hot i was like i'm gonna have to pause do my makeup and then come back to the big reveal. So I'm gonna finish curling my hair just before I film that. I've really enjoyed filming this TikTok so far. It will already be up on my page. So if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. In the meantime, look at this guys. This is actually genius. I bought this because of TikTok. It's a little phone tripod and it goes actually really tall. That's how long it goes. You can tilt it as well. So you could have a little low angle looking up shot with a wide angle lens that look lovely. Also comes with a little Bluetooth remote that sits in there. It's tiny as well, so you won't see that in your pictures. If you want to get some good Instagrams, this is the one. It's only like 20 pounds. These are the legs, you don't touch them though. And then when you push it down, watch this. Oh, it's not doing it yet. Ready? Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh. Wait, I'm still practicing. <laughs> Ready? Ta-da! Got there in the end. And then that is the whole tripod. That would fit in your bag so easily. I think it's genius. It's from a brand called Atumek. Atum Tech. Atum Tech. And I will link it in the description down below in case you want in a... Oh, look, typical one in perfect that time. In case you want a little TikTok tripod or an Instagram tripod to carry about with you. Anyway, I'm about to do my makeup for today. I'm going to put foundation on today. I never usually wear foundation, like, 
ever. But I just fancy it today. I feel like going all out. I'm going to do eyelashes and everything. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Hangover Primer and the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the shade Natural Beige. Because my face has got a bit of tan on it right now. Actually, Natural Beige might be a bit dark because I've only got tan on my face change of plan we're going with shade nude today oh my goodness guys guess what i used this morning for the very first time a pit balm this is a deodorant that's like a lip balm <laughs> but it's an organic deodorant with a hint of group freight oils and you basically get a chickpea sized amount and rub it under your armpits so i tried it out this morning and i have to say i got very hot filming the last part of that tiktok with my hair straighteners and i wasn't actually sweating i rate it so far it must be better for the environment as well serious business when the hair goes back ignore how different the color of my hands are to my face by the way for once my face is darker than my hands <laughs> i've not faked tan for a while but i did use some tanning drops in my moisturizer last night and they are so good, they're from Isle of Paradise. Purely because I knew I was gonna be doing full face of makeup today and I just prefer the way it looks when I'm a bit more tanned. Oh, I just wonder why I can't see what I'm doing. It's because I've not got my contacts in yet. <laughs> Look at those foundation lips. Wow, 2010 throwback. Wow, so pretty. <laughs> Apologies for my lack of vlogging yesterday. It was one of those days where the day just kind of ran away with me and then it got to like 6pm and I was like, what on earth has happened to today? I spent yesterday doing a lot of research for a project that I'm planning for next year, which I'm so excited about. I've had a few of you guys message me recently asking about Candid, like what's happened with Candid. Candid hasn't finished, we haven't stopped Candid. We've put it on pause for the minute. I was thinking about bringing out a product for Christmas. I'm gonna be straight with you guys because if you run a business, you know Christmas is a really good time to like bring out a new release or launch a new collection because everyone's buying around Christmas. But it got to a point where I thought, I don't wanna rush bringing out a product for the sake of it. I had a look into a few different products, but there was nothing that I thought that is definitely a bit of me and like with the hoodies and the makeup bags everything that i've released is so me i literally use my makeup bag every single day it fits all of my makeup in it's just so handy so i'm not willing to bring out something half-heartedly just because it's a good time for the market or whatever that's not what i want candid to be about I want Candid to be about releasing products when I want to release them, like when I've come up with them and when I've really thought about them, not because society says, it's Christmas, buy a lot of stuff for your family. I would rather you guys spend your money on other small businesses like family businesses who are producing all the products themselves, doing handmade gifts and things like that. They are the ones that really need your support this year. But anyway, I've gone off on a tangent. What I was saying is Candid is currently under pause. She's having a little nap for the minute. I will definitely be bringing out some more stuff next year. And I do have a brief idea of a couple of products that I want to release with Candid now. So I'll start looking into that in January. But there is also something new. The works for it haven't officially begun yet. I've had one meeting about it. And that was like a, here's my idea kind of meeting. I have another meeting for it in a couple of weeks time. But it's something I'm so excited about. It's a very new venture for me though. So I am nervous. I haven't seen anyone do this in the influencer world yet either. It's something that me and my manager Siobhan have come up with together and we've been bouncing ideas off each other for probably a couple of months now. So yeah, something is in the works currently. I'm not gonna say too much. One, because I really don't know what's gonna happen with it and I would hate to disappoint you guys. But two, because I don't want anyone stealing this idea. It's something that's very unique and I'm really proud of it. But yeah, that is the current dealio. That's what I was doing yesterday. Maybe I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. I've made a few mood boards for this project. So on screen is a little sneak peek right now. I don't know if I'm allowed to show you this, but <laughs> I've done it now. It's on screen, editing hand. Are you gonna be a brave woman or not? Oh yeah, she was. <laughs> Obviously I will keep you guys updated as and when I have more info about Project 2021. I even ordered a personalized notebook yesterday. It was from a shop called Getting Personal online and I've literally ordered a personalized notebook, lined paper, beautiful color, silver writing on the front that says Project 2021. Cause it doesn't have a name yet. It's very early days. Favorite blush ever, Iconic London. This is a cream blush. Well, it's actually called Sheer Blush. It's in the shade Rose Riot. You you just saw me apply that it is a liquid blush and it's so natural 
so pretty i'm really liking this base actually maybe i should wear foundation more often <laughs> i'm only going to do a tiny bit of eyeshadow today because i'm losing the light to be honest it is just getting dark too early for my liking these days it's three o'clock right now i do actually secretly like it the evening is my favorite time of day one because it's so cozy it's full of blankets and cozy pjs two because it's almost time for bed and getting into bed is my favorite thing in the world this weird mark on my neck this is fake tan made a slight mistake with the tanning drops I did rub my moisturiser down my neck. Thank God I did that and it's not just the face. But I've been wearing a lot of high neck jumpers and obviously here, fine. Here, not. So please ignore that. I love how this has become just like a catch up chat but I wanted to tell you guys about a programme I watched yesterday at lunchtime. It was called Family Man. I can't remember what channel it was on, but I'll put it on the screen. If you like murder documentaries, this is definitely the one for you. I mean, there's not like... It's nothing special, it's not really well produced or anything like that, but it's really interesting. It's about familicide. Familicide? I think that's how you say it. Basically about when a man kills his entire family. You know that um, Netflix documentary that everyone was watching a few weeks ago? I think it was called like The American Family Next Door or something like that. That's a case of familicide and I just find it so interesting. I think if I wasn't doing this job I'd be really interested about studying the psychology behind familicide because it's such a unique crime. And did you know there are two to three cases of familicide in the UK every year. Two or three men kill their entire family in this country every year. How mad is that? Literally only used two colours today from this Zoeva palette. This is the Cocoa Blend palette. It's my everyday one that I keep in my makeup bag. One because it fits and two because I really like the colours in there so I used this one on my crease today this is substitute for love and then I used this one bitter start on this part of my lid <laughs> so professional I know I prefer brown winged eyeliner these days I'm a changed woman I think it looks a bit softer but I've run out so black winged liner it is today I feel under pressure with you guys watching me I can't lie look at the difference that makes to my eyes I mean I have such blonde eyelashes look at that so annoying. I really need to tint them again soon. I've not done it for a while. But I think I'm actually going to put a teeth whitening strip on while I'm doing this. Because when you're doing your makeup is a really good time to just sit with your whitener on. So I will catch up with you guys probably after I've finished filming this GHD video. Wish me luck. I hope it turns out well. And wish me luck for this other winged liner. Is it going to go as well as the first? Probably not. Hey ho. I'm back. I just finished filming it. It took me a good couple of hours actually. I wasn't expecting it to, but it definitely took longer than I thought it would. Anyway, I'm all finished. I've got my makeup done, so I might take an Instagram. I might as well take the opportunity and run with it because I literally, I'm not really wearing makeup at all at the minute. Well, I'm wearing like the tiniest amount and I mostly put that on just when I'm vlogging. For your guys' sake, not for mine. <laughs> but I haven't done a full face like this for a really long time, especially with foundation. I think like probably before lockdown. I mean the first lockdown, not the second. I wonder if there's going to be a third lockdown. It is something that kind of like, not scares me, but I do kind of feel in the back of my mind like it might happen. I hate to say that. I don't want to jinx anything, but I just think people are going to go mad at Christmas, aren't they? Just remember to be careful, guys. Obviously, enjoy your Christmas. It's so important. And those five days that we're allowed a few households together are going to be a lifeline for so many people. I hope that you get to spend time with your grandparents if you're lucky enough to have grandparents left in your life. I don't, so our plans for Christmas Day is my brother and his girlfriend are gonna come over with their dog Diesel. Hopefully Diesel will be able to come if Sunny's not in season anymore. She shouldn't be. We're almost two weeks into it now and they're supposed to last three to four weeks, so I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. So yeah, they're gonna come over on Christmas Day and that's it really, that's all we'll be doing. I might vlog Christmas Day this year, I'm not sure, I'm undecided. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to vlog on Christmas Day our Christmases aren't that exciting because we don't have kids in the family every year it's just kind of the same like we'll wake up this year will be fun because we've got Sunny and she's got a little stocking and I've put presents in her stocking one of her presents arrived this morning actually I actually think I might have a problem I need to go to HAA Harness Addiction Anonymous <laughs> because I don't know why I'm just obsessed with buying harnesses they are just so cute and I feel like I don't know she does wear all of them so we do get our money's worth well I, I buy them all, she's my dog, I get my money's worth. That's how I justify it to myself anyway, but this is the most recent one, this is going in her Christmas stocking, not that she'll care anyway, she'll definitely care more about the toys that are in there. This is 100% for me, but look how cute it is, it's called Up, Pup and Away, it's from Paws and Paws Boutique, I'll link it in the description down below. But their harnesses are really nice quality, they clip at the side and then the back of them, they have the metal D-ring and all of this is adjustable, so around the neck, 
around the body as well. Sunny wears a size extra small. She's a bit of an awkward size actually because without a jumper, she's an extra small, but with a jumper, she's just about a small. But without the jumper, a small is too big. So I don't know, it's difficult. So she has to have a range of extra small and small. This one is one of her more summery ones. So I got this in an extra small. How cute. It's more pink than I thought it would be as well. So I'm pleased about that. Anyway, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea because I'm absolutely gasping. I've only had one cup of tea today and that is just not satisfactory in my life. That's what I'm lacking right now. What are we doing for dinner tonight? You tell me. Well, do you want to cook or shall I? Because I've got two dishes left to do. Yeah, I was just thinking you might... The dates, yeah, the meat. Use. Yeah, I think I do need to use some. Yeah. Um, the only thing is it's chicken and chorizo pasta and you don't like spicy. Well, but I think only the chorizo is spicy in it. No, you do it for you and Dad, and I'll just have something else. You sure? Yeah, honestly. If it goes into three dishes, Dad can take it to work tomorrow to eat it as well. What are you going to have then? Well, I might have egg and bacon. Egg and bacon? I love egg and bacon. And chips? Is that a thing? Do people normally have chips? Bacon, uh, hmm. Maybe, but I just like egg and bacon. All these toys, Sunny. Look, you've got brand new Gingy there, and you would rather have the cork from the Prosecco. You've got two minutes to chew, and then I'm taking it away so you don't eat it, okay? I bought this basket on Amazon to keep her toys in, just because I thought it would look a bit messy with the Christmas tree as well. We used to just put them down in a pile. So I got this basket, I think it was like about 15 pounds, and I really like it. It's really nice quality, it's got handles on the side. The only thing is, it's a bit of a funny shape because of the way it's packaged, and we've had it now for probably two weeks I'm gonna say and it still hasn't really lost its shape but it does actually fit quite nicely into that little corner there so I'm not too mad about it but it's so much easier to keep all our toys in that rather than just sprawled out over the floor it keeps our house looking like a human home and not her home do you know what I mean even though it is your home it's your world we're just living in it I'm taking this away now though I apologize hey <laughs> You heard it here first, Han's cooking again tonight. Tonight on the menu of Fab Han, we have. I'm very excited about this one. So it's actually a prawn and chorizo spaghetti, but I don't really like prawns. So I substituted it because you can like swap them out. I changed it for chicken. So we've got chicken and chorizo spaghetti tonight. I'm very excited about this one. I've got all my ingredients out here ready. It looks like it's gonna be really easy actually. Only 35 minutes, little bit of heat, one of your five a day, bakers. Get bacon. Right, step number one. I'm gonna use the app because it's easier. I've spilled a little bit of salt, so I've just pushed it over here. Peel and grate the garlic is the next stepio. I love garlic. I could double the amount of garlic in every recipe and I'd be happy. By the way, guys, I feel like I'm always wearing this top in vlogs. It's because it's my fave PJ top. I got it in Cake Verde, if you couldn't tell. It's just very, very soft. I wear it to bed in the summer. If it's not the summer, it's a really good throw on top. Like earlier when I was filming, I couldn't be bothered to change my whole outfit again, so I just threw it on. Boring stories with Han, but I'm pretty sure everyone's got one of those t shirts, and this is definitely mine. Bra free, comfy vibes, that's what we're here for. Also, here for the garlic. Oh my god, it's the I'm a Celebrity final tonight, I just realised. How exciting, Sunny. This dog must get sick of my conversations. She's the only other living creature in this world that has to deal with me all day. Poor thing. You can't even escape me because you don't know how to look after yourself. This recipe has a whole punnet of tomatoes in it and I hate tomatoes, so I've picked this recipe really well. My dad loves tomatoes though, so I'll take one for the team tonight. Hey Siri, how many chives in one bunch? Well, these answers are very um, not specific. Five, because there's five people in one direction. I live for you, I long for you, Olivia. Hey, hey. Right, chorizo, I love chorizo. Oh, little bits come out. That one too, they're alive. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh no, my battery's going. Right guys, I'm gonna have to come back to you when the masterpiece is complete. This is gonna be a masterpiece. My psychic powers are telling me. Not even gonna lie, I have truly outdone myself with this one. I mean, it was so easy. But this genuinely looks like something I would order in a restaurant. I'm so impressed with myself, I've gotta be honest. I think I'm getting better at this cooking malarkey, you know. So I've just got into bed. The time is, it's 48 minutes past 12. It's really late, I fell asleep on the sofa tonight. Oh, I'm so tired. I painted my nails the other day as well. This is my December colour. Anyway. I was just thinking while I was brushing my teeth, one, I don't think I've ever vlogged when I've come to bed before, two, 
it's so weird how much of a creature of habit I am. I'm the kind of person who really thrives off a routine and it's so funny because even the little things, if one thing is out of place, it throws me off a bit. Is anyone else like that or is it just me? Am I just a bit obsessive? Um, also, hi to this spot down here. I'm gonna call it Terry because it is the result of eating an entire Terry's chocolate orange. Anyway, like I was saying, yeah, massive creature of habit. Every single night, without fail, I'll put Sunny to bed, I'll come up, I'll take my pill, I'll go to the toilet, I'll brush my braces, which are right next to me. I've taken them out for the sake of this clip. You're welcome. Um, I'll brush my teeth, I'll get into bed, I quickly check my phone, but to be honest by the time I get into bed I'm too tired to check my phone and then I'm asleep within literally about three minutes. I never remember falling asleep these days, which is fab because that's when I always do my overthinking. But every single night I'm just about to do it now. The last things I will do is watch Stacey Solomon's Instagram story. <laughs> say that out loud sounds so sad but i find her instagram story so uplifting even if it's not like a particularly positive day i just find it like it's very real and her life is what i aspire to have one day and she likes the simple things in life as well like i enjoy watching her make weird snacks for her kids or seeing what rex is wearing for the day or her making a bed or or seeing what norm on a prawn is doing <laughs> if you watch her stories you'll understand that so yeah the last things i do every single day is watch stacy solomon's instagram story and then i will put three alarms on in the morning i put one on for 7 15 7 20 and 7 30 because i never wake up from the first one and that is like my backup plan if sunny hasn't already woken up so i set my alarms and then i go into the calm app and every night I set the, <laughs> it sounds like I'm literally OCD about this routine. I'm not. This just so happens to be what I've fallen into. Um, I go into the car map and I put the rain on leaves or rain on window sound on for seven hours. <laughs> I'm going to be editing this back like, honey, you can't leave this in. This makes me sound so weird. But please let me know. Does anyone else see these weird little things that are just like routine? And now you feel like you've just got to do it. Also, I'm so tired, I've literally just noticed that half my face isn't even in this shot. Oh, I need to go to bed, my arm's really aching. Anyway, I'm about to go and watch Stacey Solomon's Instagram story, put my rain on and go to sleep. <laughs> I need to get a life, mate. I need to get a life. What am I going to do when I meet someone? Well, they're going to have to watch Stacey Solomon's Instagram story with me. <laughs> Just finished editing this vlog and I can't believe I've admitted to you my Stacey Solomon nightly routine. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. My face mask's going to crack. I just put this face mask on for the first time. Isn't it a pretty colour? This is the Generation Clay, what's it called? Ultraviolet Brightening Purple Clay Mask. It's not my favourite smelling mask. I think it might be lavender. and I'm not a huge fan of lavender. But it feels nice on my skin. It feels very refreshing. But anyway guys, it is now Saturday evening. So that brings us to the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope these vlogs aren't getting too boring yet. Hopefully the lead up to Christmas we can get a bit more festive. And don't forget to let me know in the comments down below, do you want me to vlog Christmas Day this year? I'm still undecided, no promises here. But let me know if that is something you'd like to see. But anyway, do subscribe to see my future videos. I have a renovation video coming for you on Tuesday. And then obviously weekly vlogs every Sunday morning. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you have a lovely Sunday. And I'll see you again soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love ya. Bye.